You found it. Are you playing games? Uh, I'm going to be running a tournament. That's what I'm going to be doing. I have a microphone on. A headset on the microphone. It's a piece of picture. Yeah, it's a picture you painted. Let's see how this sounds. I have people in here. You can probably hear my daughter more than you can hear me. Is there an echo? Oh, probably because of the microphone. So close to the, so close to the uh, speakers though. All right, there's a couple people in here. If you can hear me, uh, let me know how the sounds. streaming the entire thing from the PS4 because I don't have a laptop set up for streaming it. I also want to see if this restarts my stream if I pick a different room or if I start inviting people. I can't do this right. Don't think there's anything else I need to put in here, so private lobby. And if I invite, does it blur everything out? Yep. Okay. Doesn't stop the stream though, so that's what I need to know. Okay. So I just want to make sure that it didn't completely kill the stream if I did that. So that is what you will see every now and again. Never, you're probably going to hear my kid a lot throughout the course of this. Stream's gonna be pretty poverty today.
actually kind of excited just to like sit here and watch this tournament, to be honest. Like, I love playing these games. Like, Alpha 3 might not be my favorite, but I love playing everything. Um, so, I'm... But I, I like watching this stuff. It's nice. Uh... We are going to shuffle seating. Alright, we only got five people for this first one. For the time being, anyway. Hopefully somebody just randomly signs up. And they're streaming from the PS4. Pretty poverty. Alright. Uh, just tuning in. I'm going to be using the Iowa Discord. For this. Shuffled seating a few times. I gave one more shuffle, why not? So far we got one person checked in. That is my good friend Mike here. Headphones plus hat equal sweaty head. Yes, you're Lillian. Sally. Alright. This had a ta-da! Ta hey, you're gonna hear my kid probably more than you're gonna hear me. Clean. You're clean. 
or you're cleaning because I don't see it in the ladder. It's the ladder. <laughs> Seventeen more minutes until the tournament. Pizza ready. Kid is very hyped for pizza. I'm afraid to see like anybody trending on Twitter these days just because oh boy sad to read about L little Richard today he's a good man Hopefully the rest of Iowa decided to wake up before 12. Okay, well at least I know that works, so I'm going to sit here and try pad combos. So wait, are we going to train mode for this game? Calculates damage like really tiny. Like four damage for a fireball. Uh, does health not reboost or reset in this? What? Yes, yeah, auto recover, please. Okay, that's better.
I love that thing so much. Alright, do we have anybody else checked in? No. So far, Mike Silva was checked in. Come on, guys, please. Come check in. It did have CPS one canceling, didn't it? Well, I'm also really bad at it. Two people checked in. Checked in Etherlord, thank you for checking in. Let's put a message in Discord, please check in. More, or a couple more checked in.
Hey, we got messages on the chat. Uh, Charlie, I will check you in on challenge. I don't know if you checked in or not. I will check. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I'll check in on that. Uh, we just got five, so we are waiting for Blake. Oh, you just go to the uh, tournament page, like the page with the actual hyper fighting bracket, uh, Charlie, and then uh, there'll, there'll be a check-in box. And then it says that asks you to check in. But I already got you checked in. Yeah, you're just waiting on. Endgamer, 3K, aka Blake. I like how his name's Endgamer, and the he doesn't really do uh, Nintendo stuff anymore that much. Occasionally, he'll enter Smash or something. Say that like he wouldn't like wipe the floor with me and smash. day so you're probably gonna hear my kid they ran things throughout the course of the day all right I'm gonna get out of this and get a lobby ready Do I got the option set up correctly for... I mean, it's hyper fighting, so you can just blame the fact that we really don't play this one that much. I want to play it more. I really should be playing online more. Uh, this week being an exception, I've kind of had less time during all of this, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah, I can't do super turbos. Settings from here. I just want to make sure I can set super turbo up alright. Do, 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 do. That's that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... Every week I play stuff and I just starting to realize that because I just don't play things as much, I'm getting worse and worse at th at stuff. Like it was, it was nice during our weeklies to, I was getting kind of okay at caliber, but, man, James was keeping me actually pretty up to, uh, kind of keeping me practicing on stuff because we just end up playing, we play stuff like this, we play hyper fighting or. Alpha 2. And then Mike and Laszlo would be playing stuff with me too, and that keep me going. But yeah, I just, I don't have the motivation right now. 
to play online. Kind of alright just sitting here with a laptop running tournaments. If you guys are happy, I'm happy. Alright, where is Blake? He is still uh, idle. Alright, so since we got four people, we're going to be streaming all four of you. Give me a sec. Got one more minute. But yeah, I would actually love to play with you guys some more in some of these old games. I, just, I don't think I have the the patience to learn anything crazy new these days. Alright, well, no Blake. Uh, I'll see if he's not... Oh, he's not idle anymore on Discord. Blake is ready? Okay. Alright, Blake, I will check you in. Oh, well. That does help. Thank you, Curtis. I'll check Blake in, and we are set. Alright, still five of us and a ridiculously short running game, so... Um, my computer just literally blue-screened and shut down. What the heck? Alright, give me a second to load my computer back up. <laughs> That was not what I was expecting. Alright, the first match I'm pretty sure was... Ah, oh, man. I was, uh, not expecting that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Get my computer back on. What the heck? I literally went to touch the computer and it blew screen and just all of a sudden restarted. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Okay, uh, let me... I'm pretty sure it was uh, Blake and Curtis for first round. Let me double check. <laughs> Okay, yes. Uh, invite... We just did that. Okay. And we are 
just waiting for Blake to pop in. Reminder that these will all be two out of three until uh, top four, which is winners finals, losers semis, losers finals, and grand finals. Uh, so this is two out of three until top four, which is winners finals, losers semis, and then losers finals and grand finals. I will resend Blake that invite. Yes, double them. I'm streaming from the PS4. I can't really show the bracket, but uh, it is Blake and Curtis. I'm gonna put the yeah. Let me put the bracket into the chat. This pops up. Ew. All right. Curtis, ready up, and it'll kick me out. And make sure that I get, I can spectate before you hit ready up. There we go. Alright, two out of three. Let's do this. Wait, what? Did you guys both hit third strike? Did I hit third strike? I mean... What? Why? I had it on... I had it set? What? Okay, exit out. Okay. Did it... Oh my gosh, it still had a set to 3S. I hate the lobby system in this. Toggle game, untoggle game, I'm a genius. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I forgot about the it selects games. Or you have to select the game thing. I thought you just picked a game. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of that is Blake just being like, all right, SA2 Chun, let's go. Blake ready up so it kicks me out and then let me hit spectate. I 
All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, two out of three. Let's do this. Ah, oh, that looks so much better. Curtis sitting in his own little bit of Sagat. It's not exactly super turbo oh Sagat, but still strong. Blake doing Blake doing weird tatsu. I don't know if you remember right away that it does the helicopter tatsu rather than come straight down, but Tatsu is still super strong. Ooh, comes right down the fireball. Tatsu is still super strong in this game. <laughs> That's what I want to see. A little bit of full screen zoning. I am definitely a Sonic Boomer. Chris trying to keep, keep him out. Every now and again trying to check Blake's forward movement. Hoping he can get a jump in. He's right now content to zone. Blake making his way in. Ooh. Air to air Tatsu. Oh, I was expecting the anti but he was kind of far away. Blake trying to jump over that, but not fast enough. Blake puts himself in the corner with Crazy Tatsu. Oh, but... And that is... Oh, <laughs> like, why did that do any damage? Oh. <laughs> Alright, one round apiece. Swat so got to pick up that rock and chuck it. So bad. Like, I've been playing so much Animal Crossing that I I seriously think he should be able to pick that up. It looks like clay. Oh. I mean, wasn't the punish I was expecting, but that works. Gets him in the corner, gets some good positioning. Oh, Blake gets his way out, though. Oh god, I would lose. I would lose so hard. My wife is absolutely beating me senseless on Animal Crossing if that's a competitive sport. Okay, let's get the life lead. And that's a chuck into the corner. That's gonna be first game, Curtis. Pick up that rock. Alright. Then Curtis ready up and get me out of here. Leaning on my arm was a bad idea. God, I want to ready up so bad and play. <laughs> I unironically love this game. Alright, match number two. Go. Oh, CPS one Guile scene. <laughs> Hear my kid in the background <laughs> singing the ABCs. Ooh. I don't know if that's supposed to be a fireball or if that was the hardest read ever, but didn't really pay off too much. Lost a lot of screen positioning. Like pushing further back. Ooh, good anti from Blake. Strong anti -air. Tick throw. Not looking good for Curtis. That's... Oh! That was going to be a tick throw, but the tables have turned. Oh. oh! Curtis trying to stay alive. Oh! I like it. I like it. God, 
I don't even want to commentate. I just want to, like, every one of these tiger shots, just music to my ears. Ooh. Perfect. Curse on match point. I'm sitting there laughing. This big old scarred man boobs going up and down. Oh, that's a strong start for Blake. Oh, I, I was expecting a nine there. Blake trying to answer back with a perfect two. Ooh, nope. That pushed him really far out. Oh, I was expecting the fireball to fireball. I don't think there would have been anything I could do about that besides maybe DP. Oh, that's a that's a long hard road out of hell, Curtis. Thirty on the time clock. Down to chip damage. I mean, that said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I just want edge of my seat. All right, one apiece. That was a good match. Yes, Lily. Are you playing a game? I am actually watching people play games. Do you, can you here, come sit. Uh okay. Here is my beautiful daughter, Lillian. Can you see yourself? Uh -huh. do, you see, do you see yourself up there? Yeah. Daddy's running a tournament right now. A couple friends of them are playing online. It's okay. Oh, you're gonna go by mommy? Where's the shoes? You're going to, you need your shoes? Alright. Curtis has spent a lot of time in the corner in these matches. Blake has been pushing him pretty hard, but it is still one apiece. All games have been very even. Oh, oh my! Oh wow, that was a call out. Pick up that rock. Pick it up. Ooh, no anti-air. I don't know if that was supposed to be a throw in the corner, but Curtis got one anyway, so we're good. Good jump out by Blake. Good read. Curtis trying to get himself to, turn, er, to match point two. Stay alive for another round. Cool. Oh, no anti-air. No anti-air again. Ooh. Tiger knee. Match point for both players. I love it. Wife is looking at me like, God, he's such a dork. You looked over before. Ooh. Curtis throws that crown house up just a little bit early. That's Blake in the corner. Tiger shot pressure. Ooh. I thought he was waiting for the jump in. Good two hit. Can't just get in the corner. Blake fighting his way out. Ooh. There we go. Alright. That was a good set. Alright, magic top hat. Two. Blake one. <laughs> okay, computer, you could uh you could actually factually update this. That would be neat. Oh my god, computer. Honestly. 
Alright, I'm going to invite the next match in here, which is going to be Charlie and Mike. Uh, the rest is not going to be 3 out of 5 right now. It's winner's finals is when it starts getting 3 out of 5. And then uh, loser's semis. So there's pretty much one loser's match where it's uh, 2 out of 3 and then everything else is 3 out of 5. But these two winner's matches are still uh, 2 out of 3 right now. Alright, Charlie, ready up and kick me out. Many thanks. God, I just want to hit ready and play. <laughs> Alright, it's got me spectating, so we are good. Be good? Be good. wasn't expecting the Blanca, but you know, that said, I I don't know why I wasn't expecting the Blanca, because Charlie has a pretty good pocket of characters. I also have no idea what Blanca's like in this game. He has that. <laughs> good anti-air from Mike. Oh, and down ball. God, I want to play Blanca, that crouching fierce. Good anti-air. Pick up the rock. Charlie, just pick up the rock. He's trying. I swear he's trying. <laughs> that, yep, did it throw, and that's going to be 25% right there. That's death. We got 1-0 Grog right now, a.k.a. Charlie, a.k.a. Grog Deluxe. A.k.a. I was best Super Turbo player in general encyclopedia about Super Turbo knowledge. Mike, trying to stick with a standard Shoto style. Ooh. Fireball's the ball. Ooh. He's trying to get his way out of the corner now, though. Yeah, let's say, I don't think Charlie's going to jump at this point. Throw. I was expecting the anti, but jumps in this game are super fast. Here comes the down ball. Mike with a lead right now, but walking right into electricity. Gets an uppercut. I don't know if that's supposed to be a fireball or not. Need to chuck some balls here. Oh! I say that, and then he. Ooh, Charlie tries to Charlie tries to do a combo and it ended up costing them, but then again, Bite might not have done it. Round 
Kelly has had to do a little bit of rush down. Down. Mike is unable to get anything started. And that's a dizzy. And that is getting his head bit off at 69 seconds. Very nice. Alright, 2-0 Charlie. Alright, I'll get my next match going here. To be Etherlord and Top Hat. Uh, I don't have Etherlord on my friends list. What is Ether Lord's uh, PSN name? Because I don't have it on my friends list, I don't think. Ether X Lord. Alright. Awesome. After this match, we are going to be doing uh, Mike versus Blake and Losers. Guile Mirror. With those absolutely ridiculous elephants. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Kurt got put into a pretty bad situation pretty early there. And by that I mean the situation of listening to these elephants. Holy... That's, that's what I want to see in a guile beer. <laughs> Alright, Top Hat getting himself a lead for the first time. There's a little bit of space backing up. Gain a little bit with that knee. That's what I want to see. There we go. Centered. No knockdown. Oh, this is this is not looking good for Ether Lord. For XXX Ether Lord 420 XXX. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I was about to say Ether Lord looking like he's gonna make a comeback here, but a little bit of time left. He had to do something risky and got checked. Sonic Boom. I love this game of chicken so much. This is good. Yes, fight for my amusement. I thought I was going to dizzy for a second. Now, wow! <laughs> Anti air on the second hit of Crouching Roundhouse. What? Is with the no knockdown. Things I did not know about this game. That was such a weird looking air throw. Oh, it's really close. I don't know if he's or Curry's gonna. Nope! Curry's not gonna be able to bring that one back. 1 0 Ether X Lord 420 XXX.
Watch off my mouse pad. Curtis going to Ken. That's his third character this tournament. That was two matches so far. Curtis is trying to stay in, keep Kyle in the corner so they can get some damage off of him, maybe make him make a risky play. Keep saying Curtis, magic top hat. I really should get used to saying screen names on here. Oh, oh. Chris getting pushed to the corner. This is not a good spot. I don't know if Lethal Lord is going for the uh, air throw on that, but I kind of wanted to see it. Not going to lie. Curtis in a really bad looking spot. Ooh, gets the throw. Ooh, the fast KO. That was goofy looking. That was some galaxy brain stuff right there. <laughs> no knockdown from that, but gets a throw and it's 1-1. Right now, I'm just kind of imagining each of these two just screaming things like, Why didn't that knock down? Um, I lose Ether Lord? That was 1 1, right? I'll send him an invite real quick. Alright, one apiece. Ether Lord sticking with Kyle. Mr. Top Hat. Character locked into Ken. Already pushing the corner. Really good spot for Ether Lord. Trying to find his way out. Oh, good to it. Oh, I don't think he expected that to Dizzy. <laughs> There we go. Curtis remembering that Ken's light DP is mildly ridiculous. I like it. Let's see if Ether Lord can fight back here. Ooh. And every time they go down, I expect them to come up with dizzy stars. Like it wouldn't surprise me, even off of just a one hit projectile. The stare down. Elephants fighting for to make sure that they are heard over the fireballs. Curtis on match point, but he's down this round. Keep himself cornered. There's the flash kick. Oh. I don't know if he's going for a tick throw or not. This wasn't close enough. Well, that's going to be close. Oh. M goodness. Curtis barely squeaks that out. Alright, we're going to do the loser's match. So, thank you gentlemen for... getting out of the room right away. And I will get... Mr. Iowan Punch in here. And Mr. Gamer 3K.
All right, gentlemen, how about it? Each of them stick with the characters that they picked last time. Every time I see those rocks, it's just not gonna go away. Island punch off to an early lead. Just trying to play a standard Shoto style. Ooh, little, little bit of stutter, a little bit of lack it looked like. There's the anti-air. And gamer going in. Fireball, tick throw, anti-air, dizzy, fireball, that is the round Blake Blake just setting himself on top of that rock and saying this is exactly where I want to be as a Shoto ooh that I don't know if that they felt that in the game or not but I felt it here see this rock is not where you'd want to be as a Shoto I'll be a little bit back from that There you go. Actually, might be a hair back. Each of them trying to show that they can chuck fireballs. Ooh, good anti-air from Blake. And Endgamer 3K goes up 1 to 0 so far. Not getting the anti-air on that one, that's alright. Mike trying to push in the corner, ooh. Light fireball, gets a jump in for it. Air to air. This player trying to get some fireballs out. Good DP through the fireball. And a little bit of space for it, but... Really, these older games, they can they can be a game of inches, especially the Shoto. Yeah, I'm about to say that's not looking too good for uh, for Mr. Island Punch there. Ooh, Blake just jumps in and chucks him into the corner. Not looking too good for Island Punch. He get, gets over everything with a hurricane kick, but took some damage for it. Good DP to get through that from from Endgamer, but yep, that's going to be the end for Island Punch. Mike, thank you for playing in this one. Well, there's a lot of other games throughout the course of the day. Next up we have a match I've seen a thousand times over the course of playing in Iowa. I'd say two buddies of mine, but you're all buddies of mine. 
I mean, it's an Iowa tournament. I am so old at this point that I've played hundreds upon hundreds of games with you guys, and I've loved every single minute of it. Yeah, all homies, and I miss you. Yeah, I Mike, I liked what I was seeing. You know, you've, you've come a pretty good way from when you first showed up, so I was happy to see, like, some some back to basics with you on that stuff. Get some good fireball wars there. I liked it. Looking forward to playing with you again in person. Uh, Curtis? Uh, Curtis, you need me to send you another invite? Alright, Charlie, ready up and kick my butt out of here. Much obliged. Alright, this is 3 out of 5. character for Curtis, I believe. If you... <laughs> and don't expect any commentary on what this matchup is like, because I don't know. <laughs> Might have a little bit more insight into some super turbo matchups, or definitely third strike, but... <laughs> God, I forget. I forgot about that. I 100% forgot about the evil Zangief. That <laughs> just mashing that crouching light. Gets. I don't know if he had the life lead before that or not, but he definitely has it now. Round one, though. Mr. Top Hat. I could watch that all day. Ugh. Uh, Lariat, possibly? Trade? Ooh, ow. Did that be Crouching Fierce? Because, lol, 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 lol. Ooh, ball right in the Lariat. I say, I don't know if Geef can do anything to punish that if he blocks it. Madman Curtis is going in now. You know he's down. Oh, I don't think we're gonna see uh, Charlie do a ball. Oh my gosh! You win. You win. One round a piece in the first game. I'm glad the timer goes at like three in game seconds per second. Jet, oh, shake out of that stun. Not gonna get anything from that. Oh. Tall characters are not fun to cross up, so I wasn't surprised if that Blanca LK didn't cross up, but. Magic Top Hat gets that first game. <laughs> 
Making sure to keep a tally on the computer. It is one zero, Charlie or er, Curtis. Mr. Grog picking a different character. I have no idea what Chun's like in this game. I was just kind of thinking to myself about that. It's like, isn't Chun really good? But she's not super turbo Chun. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I know it does that, but it's still hilarious. I was about to say, when is the empty jump into SPD Curtis from 200 something miles away reads my thoughts and does one. Oh, that could have been it right there. Grog zoning out for that. Getting that first round. Very respectable stuff. Oh. Oh, that, that's a beefy two hit. It's a knockdown. Charles is looking pretty bad, but he's fighting his way back, but he's one hit away from being. There we go. This is a pretty important round for both players. Going up 2-0 is huge. Tying everything up 1-1 is huge. Ooh. Both players is probably thinking, just let me drive over to the other person's house and play. Is he? Nope. Oh, that was good stuff from Charlie. Oh, Curtis just trying to go in, but Charlie with the with the anti-air. One a piece. Curtis going back to his first pick. I like his first back with Sagati. He's spending a lot more time in the corner. That's gonna be a dizzy. Oh no, that should have. There. Oh, that didn't kill. Oh my god. <laughs> Curtis chucking a lot of high shots, trying to get a jump attempt. Anything, but he, he does end up closing that one out. It's getting a little scary, though. Giving Grog a lot of chances to get that, that back. Kind of beefy. Charlie getting a little bit of rush down. Ooh. Doing a lot of knees, Curtis telling him I got a knee of my own. Oh, no anti on that. Gets the throw. Oh! This is close. 
Oh my gosh! Okay, who got it? Draw? Yo! <laughs> that is what I like to see. I'm spending a lot of time in the corner here. Charlie trying to get some mileage out of that bazooka knee. Charlie with the life lead, trying to back off. Oh, are you okay? I mean, I guess I can see that. That's all I, <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Try with a lot more because I do like lead. I think the fireball hit right after the timer went down, but yes. But yeah, there's times in this where it looks like fireballs do about chip damage. Grog up 2-1 so far in Winner's Finals. I wish there was a way to just like either keep yourself a spectator or just be able to throw yourself down the queue, but no such luck in this game. No updates ever coming off of this again. We take what we get. Magic Top Hat. I left him to stick with Sagat. I don't think it's a bad idea, especially against Guile, but... Seems to find himself in the corner a lot. There's Charlie, even though his character needs to hold down back for a lot of this stuff, still ends up able to advance. That said... Magic Top Hat getting her out. Super important match for for Curtis here. Good anti -air, gets a dizzy. I don't think he was expecting it. Oh, <laughs> he wanted to shimmy into a tick throw or something, but. Charlie read that one. Ooh, this is this is dangerous stuff. Charlie gets the jump in. Oh, that's gonna be a throw. Yep. That's generally the speed of the. I was expecting to see some of these matches. Or this little wait in the lobby would last about as long as a match, but. Two Charlie goes back to Blanca. I don't know if there's going to be an anti air for, or, yeah, tiger uppercut for one of those or not, but I also imagine it's pretty scary. Fast speed of the game, and oh, not death yet. That's going to be death. Charlie 
getting Curtis to the corner again. Curtis fighting his way out. Doesn't want to advance. He wants to wants to hold his ground, but he's spending a lot of time with his back to the wall. Ooh. Scouting out that crouching fears. Ooh. Match point for each player to get in the grand finals. Good. LP Dragon Punch. Not gonna be able to get much off that, but he is gonna be able to chuck out a tiger shot to control space. So he's got Charlie a little bit afraid to just start chucking out Blanca balls. Oh, that was good stuff. No sooner do I say that. Yeah, no combo to Blanca ball off that. Scout out the Blanca ball again. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> that was a good match. Krog walking away with that one. Oh! I like it. Excellent stuff, gentlemen. All right. Okay, we got Blake, Mr. Endgamer 3K, and we got Okay, I'm going to mute the microphone here and go grab something to drink, because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking today. Gentlemen, this will be 3 out of 5, just a reminder. 3 out of 5, my, it's all mirrored, 3 out of 5. Alright, I'm going to go get something to drink, be right back. Press the wrong button! Alright, now I really need something to drink. so happy to see a claw. He is not good in this game by any stretch of the imagination, but I absolutely adore him. Let's say, and you are able to pick a claw back up in this game, but not in this scenario because it apparently flew off the screen. Yeah, that's ain't looking good. Ooh, that was looking good. Ho! Oh, I know he wanted to throw on that one and not, uh, not to stick his hand out and get it burnt. I mean, Claw isn't that good in this game, but he's still got some of the classic claw stuff. It's got a speed. Wall dives can be kind of difficult to deal with. I don't want to blurt out one of the things I like doing with claw right now because <laughs> I have no idea if uh, Ether Lord can hear me or not, but But it's also difficult to do on a Ryu that's 
good at DPing. Oh, there goes the claw off the screen again. Poor the Lord. Oh wow, low to the ground throw. He's just trying super turbo claw. He didn't I know he wants the roll. Oh, that active hitbox on that slide. It was looking a little shaky for a bit, but Ether Lord bringing that one up and going up 1 0. I didn't ask for the stage. Uh -oh. Ooh, wow, good. Air to air. And things happened. Um, things just happened right there. I don't really know <laughs> how to respond to it, but it's another instance of getting your hand burnt by some sort of huddle. Wow, that, there are a lot of opportunities for Blake to remove on that one. Oh, I thought there was going to be a tech throw from there. That, that light DP is so difficult to punish. Gets the wall dive grab. One round apiece. There we go. Yeah, doing a wall dive from full screen is a good recipe to get yourself jab DP'd. End gamer playing this matchup a little bit better. Maybe he can't get the claw. I thought he could pick up the claw back. Pick the claw back up in this. Ooh. And gamer getting a lot more confident with those jab DPs. I like to see it. Digging this Vega. I'm, I dig any Vega. I love seeing Vega. Ooh. Thought he was going to be able to get a throw or something off that, but it, it is difficult to punish DPs. Oh no! Ooh, gets a. That didn't kill! Oh no! <laughs> he thought it was good pressure, but now he's in the corner. Not up. Oh. Mind games? Uh, weird. Well, 
Like, is it... Hey, Grog, is it, uh, completely dropped off, or... Ooh. Uh, gentlemen, it's three out of five. Shoot. I have no idea why I completely dropped off. Uh, three out of five, guys. Where? Oop. I have literally zero idea why the sound completely dropped. <laughs> I can definitely hear it, because all I hear right now are elephants. Just absolutely hear elephants in the loudest possible way. I'm afraid to say that the characters or players losing in this game because like the moment I do is usually when they start mounting for the comeback. I hope that break didn't just throw each player off for what they were what they were learning about each other. Ooh. They feel are getting a little bit trickier on this stuff here it looks like. Really I was really afraid for him sticking out a hitbox right there, but... Getting a couple of all dies. Oh, I thought that was going to be DP. with some really good pressure on this one, but that's going to be a dizzy, and that's going to be the match. Alright, Blake, stay in here, because you got to play Curtis. Both microphone audio and gameplay are being broadcast, so I have no idea why it would not be broadcasting the audio. Let me know if it picks back up or not. Oh, you can hear it now? Okay. Yay. Alright, gentlemen, three out of five. Losers final. So much. <laughs> I 
Like I, I love, I love the idea of Capcom just sitting there. Like, what should we give Geef for other moves? Well, how about we just give him a lariat that spins faster? That works. <laughs> Design something else, or just flash the sprites a little quicker. I love it. Oh, just a little bit closer. Nope. That's gonna be a round one to Endgamer 3K. Zangief not happy about that. Ooh. Big meaty fist to the face. Oh my gosh. Curtis doing pretty good. Keeping Blake in the corner. No, and he lets him out. Excellent DP by Endgamer. Everybody's spinning. Is Angief looking like a shooting stars meme? Ooh. Oh, not able to punish a DP because it is impossible to punish those things. I don't think it's going to get in no matter what. And that's going to be game one to Endgamer. <laughs> you don't have your power to walk? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, my kid apparently lost her power to walk. <laughs> my kid is obsessed with like superpowers and superheroes right now. Fifth character for A1 Magic Top Hat. <laughs> I want to any more seconds of that. <laughs> oh. oh, I like it. I uh, I'm really hoping that they just put the fear of God into end gamer right there. Ooh. Uh oh, that's a dizzy. Endgamer, not exactly uh, ready to give up that blocking stance knowing what's waiting for him. Yeah, there's, there wasn't much that could have been done there. I don't know if this counter pick was the right idea, but we'll see. Cool. Oof. Dizzy? Yep. He's able to turn punch through these fireballs, and he's learning a little bit, but it might be too little too late, and I know he doesn't want to give up the explosive power of five. Oh. That is going to be Endgamer up 2-0 so far. Why is my trackpad doing that? Is that going to be a sixth character or is Cor uh, Magic Top Hat going to go back to one of his older ones? Time will tell. We're going back to Sagat. He is stuck with that man until the end of this set at the very least. Chuck the rock. Chuck it. 
That's as close to chucking the rock as I'm going to get. I spend so much time giving up space with Sagat, but the life total is still very similar. That's going to be a throw to death. Endgamer on match point. Cat's gonna need something. That was a risky jump, but got out a little bit. Oop, oh, crouching around out of something, anything. He needs to go in. He needs something. He needs anything. 13 on the clock. He knows it. Oh, that... Oh, that could have been it. But he wasn't the one to get the throw. That's going to be 3 to 0 Endgamer. 3K. Endgamer running the train through this right now. All the way back up in the Grand Finals. Grand Finals, three out of five. What are we going to see? Grog starting off with Blanca. And Gamer sticking with a very trusty, tried and true Rio. I don't think I can get anything out of that other than just maybe chucking a fireball. No, he can't even get that. This does not look good. Ooh. Oh. A little bit beefier of a combo would have been good, but throw him in the corner was a good idea, but it wasn't enough. Grog taking that first game. The first round. I need a better setup here. <laughs> oh, okay. Trying to get myself comfy because it's going to be a long day. I imagine he's got some sort of combo in the light ball that he was trying to do. I also imagine it's not easy. Trying to close us out with Crouching Fierce. Oh no! You win. Round three, fight. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting this to drop there. Good anti air. Oh, that's a dizzy, I think. Yep. Generally, hit interaction with Blanca always weirded me out. I'm just not used to the way they are in this game, but... It all comes from not seeing Blanca that much in the older games. Ooh. That fireball did, like, no damage. That's gonna be an air to air. And Gamer with the first Gamer.
one gamer three K and gamer one K. Whatever puns you want. See what Charlie's adaptation is. Doing pretty good. Got himself the 25% life lead already. And the corner. Got about as much chip damage as Blake got out of that uh, DP, so. Ooh, Blake getting himself out of dodge there. Oh, Block is slow walk speed. I know he was going for a tick throw, but Block is just... <laughs> Blocko wasn't having it. <laughs> Ooh, good. I don't even know if I can commentate this, I'm just, just enjoying watching this. Charlie with a quick game. One apiece. Really digging watching Charlie just get better as this one game goes on. Seems to be feeling himself a little bit more going into this. I like it, I respect it. Accidentally puts himself in the corner. I know he wants out. That's a dizzy right there. Was that a combo? Was that a good link? I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> Wish I knew more. Oh, good anti-air. Charlie getting away with a lot of those. Don't want to cheer against either of these guys, but I thought that was going to be a dizzy. Oh, puts himself in the corner. Oh, good air. Accidentally puts himself in the corner with that though. Don't know if that was worth the damage. Gets himself right out of there though. That's a dizzy. Again. <laughs> they I thought that was a dizzy. I think he might have thought that was a dizzy. Good anti air ball. Gets a little bit of chip. There we go. Row, 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 row. Put him away a little bit so we can get some real estate. That's not a dizzy. Guess what? I don't know. Oh, wow. I did not expect him to be in throw range for that one, but. Oh, Blanca, you are cheap. Oh, that did absolutely no damage. Bite will kill. Charlie on tournament game here. That was some weird interaction. Got anti air. I 
Yeah, Charlie, Charlie generally has really good anti-air. Like, not even the buttons themselves, just Charlie is really good at anti-airing with buttons. There's definitely something I respect out of him in, in Super Turbo and, and in this. He is on tournament round. Meaty, meaty crowd fears. Oh. Oh, Good stuff, Dan Gamer. Getting out of there, but he's put himself all the way back in the corner. This is almost it. Ooh, Ooh that was excellent stuff. That is three to one. Excellent stuff, Charlie. And that is our our. Better than the uh, the sound of the elephants any day of the week, twice on Sunday. Dear Lord. I love the CPS one sounds. They're all so good. They are my family. I love them. Yeah, congratulations to A1 Grog Deluxe. When all this is over, you have 10 bucks out of my pocket. Alright, so I am going to head on over to the third strike tourney page. We are not even in check-in time for that. And we play each and every single round, because this is, even with the exception of a couple matches, that was a fast game. Oh, TJ Bison, Matt, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Here for some of that 3S. Er, actually not 3S, that's T. Derp. Herpaderp. I don't know why I was thinking 3S. Like most times, I have 3S on my mind. Um, is everybody here still for Super Turbo? I'm good for starting it more or less as soon as we get everybody in. But I gotta wait for a uh, check-in. <laughs> it's two minutes before checking on this. That's hilarious. All right. Um, like the only other person that we uh, that wasn't in the last one was a uh, golden mop. I don't know if I actually ever met. Some of you Iowa guys I don't know because a lot of you are centered in Des Moines and I don't get to go out there nearly as much as I would like to. I'm getting some weird ass targeted ads on uh, Challenge here. I keep on getting stuff for like uh, Victoria's Secret's underwear and pink and Venus and everything. I'm just like, I this is not. Why is this targeting me? Hey, -o. All right. 
Well, thanks to uh, oh, shoot. So it's one thirty. So I can start doing check-ins. I think. Let me do check-ins. Maybe not. All right. Oh my God, computer! Please stop it. There you go. Shuffle seeds. And refresh to see if it check in starts. Oh, really? Check in will start at 1.30 p.m. It is 1.30 p.m. Uh, you know what? I am. I'm good with STB and 3 out of 5. Uh, especially if we're starting early. Let's do it. Yeah, I didn't know if it, like, ended up being the tourney. <laughs> One round. I didn't know if it ended up being the tournament stand or if it just ended up being, like, something that was kind of going around for a while. Uh, but I am 100% okay with making that 3 out of 5 for, for the duration of this. But... If we got everybody here, I am... I'm good to start. Okay, I will... I'm gonna just check in people on this. Uh, Blake, I checked you in. Gold Mop checked you in. TJ Bison checked in. Charlie checked in. Uh, Top Hat Etherlord. Uh, if you guys are here and ready to play, let me know. But I got a DM. trackpad on this laptop is just all over the place. Uh, I will probably put every match on stream uh, up to a certain point. Like, if it, if it looks like it might actually somehow get to 4 o'clock before the tournament's over, I will start running losers matches on off-stream. But yeah, generally, like, with how many people we got, I will probably just run everything on, on stream. Looks like Curtis, I think, is the only one that... Yeah, Curtis is the only one that hasn't checked in. Uh, Curtis, say something. Anything. Please. Beg of you.
Okay. Awesome. I am going to check you in, and I am going to start the brackets. Do I want to end check-ins early? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, trackpad. What is he a deal? Matt, I promise you, no one is going to laugh at you. Because that's just mean. And we're not mean here in Iowa. We're nice. And the main thing is that I'm not playing, so no one's going to be laughing at any of the players. Because all y'all laugh at me. And I'm fine with that. Alright, uh... I think I'm actually going to have Mr. TJ Bison and Mr. Top Hat playing first. So I gotta exit out of this room to change the crates. All right, do that right this time. Good gosh. I do have you on here. Awesome. Alright. TJ Bison, Magic Top Hat. There's your invite. Uh, just remember to do Turbo 1 at Character Select Screen. I think it has you pick it in here. Ooh, and we're... Just make sure when it throws me down, I gotta hit tog I gotta toggle on Spectate. There we go. We are good. Let's get it on. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. <laughs> I'd be like that sometimes. Oh, I wasn't expecting the Balrog mirror right off the bat. I am good with it though. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Tried jumping out of that and then he... So he didn't get the tick throw set up. Ooh, good stuff to both players. Oof! Balrog! Never not be funny. Super, super, super. Okay, I was trying to put out the word on Facebook and Twitter. That might be it. Nope. Ooh, good link. Mr. Top Hat up one zero. Oh my gosh, I really am going to just chuck this trackpad out the window.
say. Curtis with a commanding start to that second match. I say Matt's gonna need to find something, but he's bringing this one back. Well, up. Oh. Oh, that's gonna do it. Curtis up two to zero. Friendly reminder, we are doing three out of five for all of this. Digging the switch. I don't know if the matchup is necessarily much better. Generally, when I think of Matt, for whatever reason, even though he has TJ Bison as his name, I think of his Ryu. Unfortunately, doesn't seem like it's paying off too much on this. Let's see what we see. That might have been slight overkill if he had hit with that, but I gotta respect it. Alright, and that is a 3 0. Alright, next up we have Endgamer and Iowan Punch. characters. I love it. Blake with a little bit of a key chain of characters too. I know he's got a Ken. I know he's got a Chun. Think he is a Ryu? Ooh, trying to use that stored super. Alright, so Island Punch sticking with Ken looks like the whole day. Just trying to play a basic game. I like it. Ooh. Oh. That's so close. If he just held his ground just for like. One second longer, and you would have got been able to get the uh, anti entire DP. Hey. 
You got chunned. <laughs> All right, end game. We're going up one zero. I've known Mike for a couple years now. He is a ridiculously nice man. Like three years now. Very nice man. I have expected to just come into the chat right now. What the fuck? Because <laughs> Chun will do that to you. <laughs> out of the startup of it. I'm pretty sure that was a hot open. I don't know if he's going for a tick throw on that or not. He's trying to gain some space. Handshake Chun. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what Endgamer is going for right here. I know he's got super right now. Didn't get the stored super. I know he wanted it. Oh. That was, uh, pretty close. I know he wanted Sword Super. Throw. 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 Ooh, text to throw. Throw. Not enough life left attack. Starting to see a pattern with the first round of the second. First round, Blake's like, alright, I'm gonna play Honest Street Fighter, try to play some footsies, try to play some fireball games. And the second round, is like, oh wait, I forgot, I'm playing Chun-Li. Why the hell would I need to do that? Violent Punch knows about the strength of Ken's light DP having like negative recovery. Oh, gets the stored super. Good stuff. She needs it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. <laughs> Stopped end gamer. Bouncing on winners. I. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh. All right, who we got? We got Golden Mop and Ether Lord. I don't think I have either of you to. Gold Mop invited, and... Oh, well, no. Alright. Yeah, I was just typing in the name and looking for people with mutuals. It's going to be kind of freaked out if my mutuals are friends with two Golden Mops. Definitely, definitely more uh, light punch DP. There's absolutely zero recovery. Uh, gold mop, ready up, and then it'll kick me out. Or it'll kick me to the bottom of the queue. There we go, thank you.
if I'm playing Kyo and KOF, I'm going to be hitting Light Punch DP a lot too. <laughs> so, <laughs> not that different. <laughs> Ether X Lord 420 Vega Enthusiast. He goes up a couple spots on the tier list from hype fighting to this. A second O can of the tournament? Ooh. I was not expecting the crouching light or crouching medium anti-air. There's the DP. Standing light, also a good anti-air. One round apiece. Vega has a really good ground game too. It's kind of nuts. Like, longest time I just thought he was just an air character and then Just watching the good Vegas just poke and poke and poke and then all of a sudden you're dead and they haven't even left the ground yet. There's the super that we all know and love. That's a that's a game. Yoda Day Hey Mike, which KOF have you been playing this week? I almost called him Ethan. That Ether Lord is starting off with some wall dive shenanigans and it's working out. Gold Mop's gonna need to get that anti air game on point. Oh, that was not what I expected him to do. Oh, he's bringing it back though. That's gonna be death. Oh, I was just wondering what KOF you've been playing. Ooh, good anti air. There's another anti-air. I knew that was going to hit before it even went up. Ooh, yes. Take notes on that one, Mike. That's how quick that recovers. You just cannot punish that thing. There we go. Good grab. Trying to bait out some DPs, but even if you bait it out, you're not going to get too much out of it. Ooh, with no anti-air from Ether Lord. There's the super poise to put himself up 2-0. to zero. Oh, Ken is such a solid choice. Just not expecting that for anti-air, but it does work. Light Punch is a really good anti-air. Ooh, good stuff from Golden Mop. That... There we go. It's like, come on, light DP, light DP, light DP, come on. Oh. 
gonna have to get up here in a few minutes and just stretch my arm out. I gotta do my physical therapy stretches. Cause work destroyed my arm. Speaking of. Damn, speaking of destroyed. Golden Mop is on the board. I think we were at this screen longer than that last match. That is Super Turbo. You have a question. Rubble. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You're looking for rubble. Is snuggle rubble or oh, tiny rubble? Oh, <laughs> I don't know where tiny rubble is. It disappeared. Oh no! I don't know where it is, little one. Is it underneath any of the blankets? You could check. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where it is then. No, I'm sorry. You might have lost it upstairs then. I would try looking for it up there. I'm sorry. Dang, I look away and Ken's already got one round up. Good wall dive. It's so dangerous to try to punish light punch DP. Oh, that was good. This is close. This is close. You know he wants to wall dive. Oh. Oh, can't even take any more of those. That's gonna be it. Good stuff. Two A one Ether Lord. Those are fun to watch. Alright, I'm going to invite... Let's see what I got. Alright, Charlie and Curtis. Naisu Fito. So I didn't, yeah, I, I looked away and I looked back and now I'm disappointed. <laughs> one Vega is good. I like seeing one Vega. I don't know about this. Yes, I... <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how to feel about this. Sad, confused, maybe slightly hungry. 
I didn't eat lunch yet. I'm actually, like, legit hungry. That's gonna be an anti-air. <laughs> Ooh, that... That got goofy. And Curtis takes the first game. Let's see if Grog's gonna stick with uh, Claw or if he's gonna do something that doesn't make me sad. <laughs> is generally who I know Charlie for as being a bomb ass Honda player. of Honda's Super actually doing something. I mean, things happened. So Charlie's up again, or Charlie just tied that up. Holy shit. Kind of expected something like this for a counter pick. But that said, this is not Charlie's first rodeo. match up nicely. Kind of dangerous to stand over somebody when they're waking up. I wasn't quite sure what Charlie was going for, but... Wow, that was a good sequence. Each one of those was definitely a call out. Grog up two to one. Let's see if. Mr. Top Hat has somebody else who's going to go with. What? <laughs> Damn. Nice. 
That was pretty good. Good stuff with Top Hat, keeping himself alive here. Dang, that was super close. <laughs> All right. And gamer Aetherlord, I will be throwing you two in. That was really entertaining. I did not know that Curtis had an Adam Bison. But that said, I should never doubt whether or not Curtis has a character because... <laughs> it's actually hilarious because like after that second round I was like, Oh, he's got he's got this. But yeah, I should never ever doubt whether or not Curtis has a character or not because he's got a pretty good encyclopedia of fighting game knowledge up in that bearded long haired dome of his I don't even know if you have long hair anymore That's Claw, just every now and again. Throwing hitboxes right through the other character. Ooh, this is close. Oh, yep. <laughs> Stood there for just a second too long. I'm glad it keeps with the uh it keeps the spectating mode on rather than just like having to toggle it on every time because one that would drive me nuts and two I would forget it constantly. Uh when I was did the uh the online three S tournament a few weeks ago was uh <laughs> they apparently forgot to turn the spectating thing on right off the bat so it just looked like an auto battler. Like you just saw life bars going down and that was it for my first match.
playing a pretty solid game here against Claw. Going up 2-0 pretty quick. I will be right back. some ibuprofen because my head and my shoulder are not doing too hot. And I leave in either one. Takes a game of the quickness. Good stuff. Endgame are still up 2-1. Can Aether Lord bring this back or will Endgamer clinch his way into winner's finals? Find out next on Pick a Top Tier. Uh, did he mean to pick New Ken? gonna be around. Good anti-air. We're playing this matchup pretty good, but now Vega is doing Vega things. Ooh, good air there. Dang, Etherlord. Bring it back 2-2. Two to two. Handling that matchup nicely. See what the play is from Blake. Still going with Nukan. I mean, <laughs> oh, Claw, <laughs> crouching HP. It's far away, but only far away. Good air to air. Good air throw against the wall dive. And gamer playing this matchup pretty well on that one. On match point. Well, it's had a pretty good run bringing this back, but... Ooh. Claw to the face. Trying to bait out a DP there. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, puts himself in the corner. That was pretty telegraphed. Ooh, good. 
I don't know about that, Chief. Oh, no. And that is three to two. All right, we're going to do some losers matches here. We got Island Punch. And we got Golden Mop. Awesome, you are both here. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm actually going to stand up and do some stretches because I need to do this more often. Sorry about that. I really, really need to do my stretches. Oh god, they hurt something fierce though. first match so that's 2-0 golden mop yep okay that's kind of a tough draw for Mike because and I was just kind of getting into super turbo a little bit kind of learning the a lot of the older games and kind of 
getting stuck with a mirror is is a thing. I love it. Like trying to take things back to basics a little bit. Ooh, good stuff. Punishing that light DP is just a feat for gods and immortals. Ooh. Ooh, there we go, yep. That was a lot of work for that round, too. Smack to the face, I love it. Come on, Mike, don't forget about that light DP. I thought I'm rooting against or anything, Mop. Good. Fireball, chuck a fireball. Okay, they're not right now. Oh! Oh, be careful, be careful. Oh my gosh! Well. That's gonna do it, yep. Good stuff to Mr. Mop. Oh. Not good stuff to my computer. Come on. Update. Thank you. Alright, we're going to do another couple of loser ma side matches. Uh, Ether Lord and TJ Bison. Man, the Ray Finkel thing just throws me off so much, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, both of you. Mike, you got the right idea. That's kind of a tough draw to get a mirror match there. Oh, you can... Yeah, everybody here is good. I'm glad you're playing on this. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. But just happy to see Iowa play. Iowa playing together. Speaking of playing together. Aether Lord up 1 0 versus TJ Bison, aka Ma A Matt, aka Ray Finkel, aka Laces Out.
Poor Aether Lord has fought three tens in a row, I believe. Wow, we might bring this back. That's a lot of damage. Oh boy. Now there was once upon a time where I could actually get the uh, the double backflip anti-air, but. Guess what? That's not that time anymore. Ooh. Ooh, that looked like it hurts. Ooh. Got stabbed twice in the face. Ugh. Get dropped on your head. Stabbed in the face. Dropped on your back again. Oh, I don't even know what that was for. Stabbed again. Laying on your ass. Not expecting the dial. Oof, yeah. Huh, ah. I honestly thought some of those were going to go right through him and not have a hitbox close enough to hit him. Oh, that was goofy! Matt looking like he's on his last life there. There we go. Yep. Heard. Update, please. And thank you. Alright. Good stuff to Mr. Etherlord. Alright, we got a magic top hat. Oh no! Why? There we go. Keep on getting random errors whenever I search for people. game boot my ass boot thank you all for showing up and watching this and playing I, I definitely appreciate it hope you all have fun with this For whatever reason, I thought the left player was Endgamer and not Magic Top Hat, and I got super confused when I saw Balrog. That was like <laughs> that was like 20% chip. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs>
Curtis taking that first game in a very quick and Curtis like fashion. Involved headbutting over and over. So I imagine if Curtis ever got into a street fight, it would just involve a lot of headbutting. Oh god, Curtis. There's a head thud. So painful. I don't know why that's the most painful thing that I see from him, is just pushing out that standing HP, but dear lord. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Nope. Seven Track paddle backing up and I look over and around already done. Ooh, good attempt for that tick throw, but or that empty throw. Series of ramming his head into the opponent as hard as possible. Curtis comes out the winner. All right, Grog and Endgamer, we are in winners' finals. Grog and Gamer. Yeah, it's some good st stuff today, Golden Mob. Those are those are good games. Also, what is the Golden Mob? I I do want to hear the story about the uh, the handle. Blake, you need another invite. Makes sense. I know people that have kept their uh, God, they're on. I 
I can't remember if the OG Xbox or if the, the 360, or if it started with the 360 where you get like random usernames. But I know people that have got like a random username from that, like like Suspicious Pancake or some goofy thing like that. And, uh, and they've kept that for the entity of their gaming career. Like things they got in like 2003 or whatever. Good start from Endgamer. I like to think Curtis's is, is his old one is because he is actually evil Zangief. Like, I got halfway through that, and all of a sudden, uh, I started hearing it, not in your voice, but in, what, Robert Baratheon's, or however the hell you say his name? Like, I got to was, and then, he doesn't even say evil, and just, gods, I was evil then! And I know it's intended because you are that man. What? Seriously? Yo, I did not know that. Ooh, good stuff, Charlie. That was a nail biter. I thought it was just because of fighting game thing, like, I'm Iowan, I'm playing fighting games, so Iowan Punch. I didn't know it was Hawaiian Punch, though. Ooh, good way to get out of that. Oh, good, anti-air with the super. This is a ridiculously important round for both players. I know Charlie's told me that this isn't a great matchup for Sim. Oh. But I have this feeling Honda's or Chun's not a great matchup for Honda either, so I don't know what else he's got up his sleeve. I would say his, his triangle is Honda Sim Claw. But I know he's he doesn't want to go up against uh, Blake's Ken. Vicious pop. I like it. Does she play online and stuff? Is that her handle? Because it should be. Oh, wow, that was good. Stuff to Blake for clutching that round out. Good tack. I didn't think I had any life left. There enough life left to tuck. Oh my gosh! Ah! 
Charlie used being good. It's super effective. Damn! Good stuff to blink to get out of that corner. That was... That's ridiculously necessary. That was gross, and I love it. Charlie throwing himself on the board, but... Locking himself into a character that I know Blake doesn't mind fighting against as much with uh, Ken. Here we are. Good tick throw. Oh, that just throws up. Those fast throws with fast throw attacks just throw me off, and I imagine the player's off a lot. Just trying to bait the BP out. That's good patience from Blake, but didn't get him the round. Ooh. It's kind of nuts how much meter Vega can build without even, like, touching the other, the opponent. Ooh, good. Getting the double backflip. Uh-oh. Good punish. Just getting a little bit of damage. Getting momentum. Blake is waiting for Charlie to throw that super out. Oh, that got goofy. It is match point for Endgamer. Like playing the way he needs to play. I respect the shit out of that. Good stuff to Blake. Getting himself in the grand finals. Alright. We got Magic Top Hat and Ether Lord. I typed in Ethernet and I had to back up a little bit. <laughs> it's like every time. Yeah, my advice to you guys don't get old and don't hurt your shoulder. It is not fun. There's the Fei Long. I've been waiting for that. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Um, what side was he supposed to be on for? I have that. Ooh.
Yeah, I'm definitely waiting for the Fei Long, like, since the beginning of this tournament. I am glad to see it out. I think he was on the ground yet before he got that throw. Damn, I looked away and claw one. Holy shit. <laughs> One a piece. Kind of want to do monthlies of this. Like, I don't know if I want to keep it just Iowa or if I kind of want to open it up to the, like the rest of the Midwest. Like. Especially for as long as, uh, long as we're not doing in-person gatherings for a while. Oh my, I forget that he has that air throw. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I could get like a bunch of Minnesota and Illinois peeps and like the uh, lacrosse guys. Uh, they got a big third strike scene up there. But I kind of want to do another one trying to do a fundraiser. Ooh. Wow! Figgy, we miss playing with you. I hope life's treating you pretty good out there. I mean, uh, Next Level ran one of their third strike tournaments. Uh, I think they restricted it to just America, but they didn't. Re I don't recall them restricting it to uh, a region. And I mean, it, it worked fine for me. I know I wasn't playing anybody anywhere near me. Curtis looking to secure his spot and lose his finals here. I 
seriously almost calling me from that to get an Ether Lord. Keeping himself alive here. Trying to get us to a game five. Ooh, that beefy standing roundhouse. Curse had the right idea there, but Vega's gonna Vega. And he does bring it to game five. Yeah, I know at LBC, uh, they have, like, I thought they had, like, an East Coast, West Coast restriction for some of the games, but it might just be Sam Show, because Sam Show's netcode is, like, you couldn't play with your next-door neighbor. Curtis, a person who's been picking like 17 different characters in a 16 character game, sticking himself with Fei Long for the entire set, for a 5 game set. I like it. Boom. Ooh, get your ass in the corner. Ooh, you're gonna get hit more than once in the air, son. Oh, chicken wing. Right row. Good air to air. Oh, buckets. He's not close enough for that to hit. Oh my gosh. Yodel he you. That is such beefy damage. Curtis had a good run going, but this is looking pretty dire. I will never count that man out, though. Not once, not ever. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. Not a huge punish, but that's fine. Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh, that, yep, that'll do it. That was looking... That was looking scary for Curtis. Alright. Alright, I got Losers Finals coming up. Magical Top Hat and a Deluxe Grog. But yeah, for like... I like doing stuff like this and trying to... Trying to raise a little bit of money for some of the food banks. Food banks are super important. Um... Try to do a little bit of research on them too and make sure they're not like Salvation Army style like organizations where they're they have a lot of stipulations for their for their help. Like the Iowa City one looked pretty legit. So I wanna help throw them a little bit of money. And it's just a little bit of money, but I have no idea how much we raised. I think it was like 35 bucks or something. Glad to see, glad to see Curtis getting his, uh, getting his Osagat. You guys donated 35 bucks. I very much appreciate that. 
I will cover the fees on that, so make sure that they get all of it. Oof. Oh, that hurt. Good call out on the high shot. Understand why he didn't do it? Because I would have been kind of scared too, but I was definitely expecting the DP. Although I don't know how good Sagat's DP is against that. Stuff the top hat. I run away from going up 2 0. Oh, good call out on the drill. Up 2 to 0. Sticking with Sim. Yo, okay. I'll get the recovery, but mash a little bit too hard to get out of that. This is looking dire. That's pretty dire. Offensive Magic Top Hat, but I was not expecting a 3-0. Alright, let's get Blake in here. <laughs> I know you can beat him. I was not expecting... I was definitely not expecting a 3-0. Finals. Oh, 
Oh shit, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, I had to, right before all the, uh, like at the beginning of March, before all the start, I had to uh, change out my stick because I was getting weird up inputs, like up forward wouldn't work half the time, and it would double tap forward, and sometimes it's hold up and it wouldn't jump. Very important input, so yeah, that would uh, that might do it. in here end game are up one zero so far oh. I'd be pro from finally started kicking in that headache was pretty bad for a while So good. I like how you play Barlog. Barlog. I like how you play Boxer kind of in the same way that I do, where you're just like, I really want to land this, like, level 5, level 7 turn punch. It just be. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh! Good. I want more. Entertain me. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that was a good trade. Not a good trade. Ugh.
good headbutt. Oh no! Endgamer on a tournament game. Curtis is saying, I'm fucking gone. <laughs> hey, would you guys go? What happened? <laughs> I wish I could make my face go exactly like the that clip of the Mickey the newer Mickey Mouse cartoons like eee! it runs after Minnie. What happened? Also, if you don't watch that, it's that series is so good. If you have Disney Plus, just watch those. They're all on there. They're all freaking amazing. Like I just sit here and watch them with uh, my daughter Lily, and I just laugh like the entire time. I haven't even made it to whatever. Whatever that uh that scene's from, but there's so many other moments throughout like the entire like every single cartoon of those it's just absolute hilarity. Oh yeah, every everybody's seen the what happened. I love the one of uh. Him and Minnie in the, I think it's the gondola, and uh, or whatever that boat is, and he has those, what? There's an explosion behind him. Oh, getting close to a chip kill. Oh, no long. Oh! He doesn't even headbutt Chun. He's got her up so high, he just smacks her right in the rib cage with his thick meaty skull it is 2-2 two, two. Endgamer wants us to win the tournament Magic Top Hat wants us for the reset yeah Barlog definitely Hakuna the ta Hakuna the Tatas Chip, Jesus, Teddy headbutt in Christ. Ooh. God, he's trying to stay in alive so bad. Chun's way too fast to anti-air. That'll clutch it out. Good stuff to Blake. Alright, I'm going to back out of this lobby, pick the different game, and I think I'm going to restart the stream so it breaks it up so it's easier to 
label later. Give me one second, guys. Did that? Nope, that didn't. Did that? No, it didn't. How do I get out of this? Where is the... Stop the bloody recording button. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing this. Alright, give me one moment. Up oh, there's the thing. Stop broadcasting. <laughs> 